Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog on the channel. It's Thursday morning, March uh, 16th, and I'm just getting ready for my day. I had some breakfast and coffee, made my bed and all that, and I'm just like getting ready. I don't know why I randomly decided to put my hair in French braids. Every time I do my hair in French braids, which is not often, I feel like I'm a little kid again going to camp, because this is what I used to do to my hair when I went to camp. But yeah, I hope you guys are all having a great day so far. Today is exciting because it is the first day of March Madness. I love March Madness. The first game is Maryland against WVU. And if you didn't know, I live in Maryland. So pretty much everyone here is a Maryland fan. And most of you guys don't know. I don't think I ever mentioned this before, but I actually used to go to West Virginia. I went there. My first semester of college, my freshman year, I went there for one semester. Oh, this is a fun story time. So my first year of college, went to West Virginia. So I actually got into like all of the schools I wanted to get into except Maryland. I did not get into Maryland. That was like my top choice. But my second choice was Penn State and I got into Penn State and I got a little bit of a scholarship, but it wasn't enough to cover the out of state tuition. It was just like so crazy. Um, I got into a couple schools in New York, but I decided I want to stay close to home. I wasn't ready to like be far away from my family so West Virginia was like the next closest school so I went there for one semester I joined a for oh, I was gonna say fraternity I joined a sorority um, and long story short I partied too hard and I was put on academic probation because my grades were not good I went to class but like I didn't like study so it was not a good first semester so I ended up uh, leaving the school after one semester when like winter break came I packed up my whole dorm and I, I also wasn't happy there like I didn't like dorm life I didn't like the school I didn't like the humongous campus um, I didn't like the sorority I wasn't really like liking anything it just felt so overwhelming so I packed all my stuff up my parents came to pick me up after the semester ended I said bye to all my dorm mates I actually got along with my dorm mates so well they were such awesome people, but everything else I didn't like. So I came home, I went to community college for like three semesters. Like I finished off that first year I did, and then I did another full year at college, uh, community college. And then after that, my junior and senior year, I transferred to Salisbury, which is in Maryland. So um, it was the best decision I ever made. I loved Salisbury so much. I loved the smaller school environment. And like I found a group of people that I was friends with. It was just such a good time. I studied really hard and I passed all my classes. I graduated. So it's always funny to think back. I always forget that like that ever happened in my life that I went to West Virginia and like completely failed. If you're curious, my GPA was a, a 2.4, I think. So bad, oh my God. But I don't know, it's just like the combination of like not studying and also like every time I would go to class, I was miserable not just like because of the classes itself but like I just wasn't happy so it was the best decision for me to leave anyway yeah WVU and Maryland is playing today and around here a lot of people in Maryland went to WVU too I have like a handful of friends that went there but are from Maryland too so it's a big game it's on at 12 so I'm really excited we're gonna watch it it'll be fun who else is into March Madness because it's just such a fun time I feel like so Okay, I'm gonna get my day started. I just did my skincare. Honestly, I really have no plans for today other than watching basketball. I don't really know what I'm gonna vlog today. Um, but I guess I'll just take you guys along. I am going to the movies tonight with my girlfriend. We're gonna go see Shazam, the second movie. So I'm excited for that. Um, but until then, I do have like some errands to run and like stuff to do around the house. So I'll just take you guys with me. So hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Of course, how to make a stop at Target. I like these. I like the Gucci inspired shoes.
the Lizzie McGuire shoes. These? No, she no, she really wore those. Like these? her character, yeah. I'm getting like serious 2000. All these shoes All are 2000. These look like they but belong in your closet. Those are the millennial these shoes. These look like they belong in my niece's closet. Uh, <laughs> um, Anto's getting some toys. No, so we got <laughs> packs, toys. To I'm getting, yep. <laughs> Oh my goodness. We went to all the stops, Target and Chipotle. March Madness. <laughs> Guys, Chipotle has a new chicken. Actually, I don't even know if this is new, but we haven't oh, been in yours. so long. Um, it's El Pastor. This is Anto's, yeah, that's yeah. yours. You, you took go. mine. You better let go. You better give mine back. You better give it, you better give it give back. Give it back. <laughs> yeah, they have the new um, El Pastor. We're gonna eat and watch, I was gonna say football, basketball. Taste test. This looks so good. Hold on. I'm gonna Disruptive and it worked. Ooh, it's good. at and at the half scores and highlights the latest Ooh. NCAA tournament Ooh. news. It's coming up on at and at the half. I have packages to open. No, oh, calm down. I don't. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. oh, no, you can go ahead and shoot. I'm not going to allow a cell phone. You're stressing me out. <laughs> okay, yeah, I have packages. I don't know what they are. So let's see. Is it for me, right? No. Just kidding, we'll share whatever it is. Wait, what is this? Oh, Flexi Spot. Flexi? No, Flexi Spot. Flexi Spot. This is the um company that makes the desk that I have in the office. Oh, the desk that rises? Yeah. So there's a desk in there? No, I did a part I did a partnership with them. And I guess this is Ooh, they sent you goodies? What is is this office supplies? Uh, you want the volume now? Uh, yeah, yeah. Whoa, what is this? What is this? What? Oh. I don't know, it's just a bunch of like random stuff. That's cool, that's love right there. Oh, this is a desk pad. That's cool. Do you want this? Sure. <laughs> you know, like, you know, I like, have one already. Like, instead of having like a little mini mouse pad, yeah. You on your desk and you don't need a I, yeah, I have one on, on my desk right now. It's like a, like a tan one. But they sent me an Ooh, this is nice. It's like brown. That's so nice. I like the color of it. Mine got dirty. You know what? I might give this to my parents because I think they need a new like mouse pad, but they can just use a desk pad. So that's nice. Okay, um, let's see what this is. This is let me just try to open this all with one hand. Oh, this looks like a tumbler. Oh cute! A calendar. Oh, you know what? I'll give this to Joey. Joey, my brother likes calendars. Okay, there's a calendar, that's nice. Some cards and envelopes. Oh, a notebook, I actually need a new one. So that's nice. Can write down all my little thoughts and ideas in here. Thank you, Flexi Spot, for all of my office supplies. This one's from Frame. I got a blouse and a pair of jeans from them. This is my first time trying this brand, but I know they have really good quality clothing. I'll try these on later. This is another package I opened earlier today, but YSL Beauty sent over, I don't know, is this their latest fragrance? I can never keep up anymore. I feel like new products come out all the time, but this looks new. I've never seen this before. Oh yeah, it's new. It says a new fruity floral scent composed of silky fig, Rose, it is gender neutral, combines the masculine and feminine into something for the perfect spring scent for everyone. So that's really cool. I've never tried their gender neutral fragrances before. Ooh, I love the packaging. Wow, that's a huge bottle. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh my God. Mmm. That's so beautiful. It smells like really clean and florally. That's gorgeous, love that. I'm getting ready to go to the movies with my friend tonight, so I'm gonna get ready. I'm just gonna do makeup, and I took my braids out. I totally forgot when you do braids, like it comes out with like cute little waves, so my hair is all set. I am dressing comfy. Every time I go to the movies, I like to dress comfortable, sweatshirt, some leggings or sweatpants, and I'm wearing my Uggs, so. 
we're gonna be comfy but I just wanted to do a little bit of makeup so I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you guys my updated makeup routine because I have been using new products and also I got new beauty products that I showed in my last vlog from Dior so I wanted to also show you those new products and like test those out and I had my iced coffee because it was a long day I'm very tired I still have not recovered from daylight savings okay so I'm going to prime with the milk hydro grip primer this isn't a new product but this is something I started um, using again recently as my primer oh I need to put my hair back really quick after I prime I use the Armani fluid sheer glow enhancer it's kind of like a highlighter but what I like to do with this is I like to put it all over my face for um, just overall shine before I put on foundation and I focus on the high points so my cheekbones my nose and my forehead mostly just to like kind of make my skin look more glowy my foundation is the YSL all hours foundation this has been my everyday foundation or every time I do my makeup I love the coverage I love the color it's kind of like medium coverage and it has SPF 30 which is amazing I always need to wear as much SPF as I can on my face, so. The coverage is so good. Look at that coverage, so good. So after foundation, I'm gonna use some concealer. So I've been going back and forth between these two concealers. This is the one I've been using for the past few months, the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I really love the coverage and the formula of this one and then I also have my NARS Radiant Concealer. This is a new one I picked up but this is something that I've been using for years and years so I kind of like switch back and forth between the two um, but they both have really good coverage. I like the color of the NARS one better though. My color is uh, Custard I think or is it Stromboli? It's Custard yeah and then the color of the foundation that I'm using is MN Seven, I think it is. Yeah, I'm at seven. Gotta always put concealer down here on my red areas. Okay, I usually let my concealer set for like a minute and I go ahead and do my eyebrows. I desperately need to get my eyebrows done. They're not okay. They're so grown out, but it's good because next time I get them done, they'll be nice and shaped. But my eyebrow pencil is the same one I use all the time. It's the AOA Studio uh, eyebrow pencil. This is from Miss A, shopmissa.com, I believe is the website. It's like the online dollar store for beauty products. They have so many products that are like under $5. And these little eyebrow pencils cost $1. So I think like a couple years ago, I stocked up on like 20 of them. So I still have them. I think I'm actually coming near the end of my supply so I need to like reorder some more. It's an exact dupe of the Anastasia eyebrow pencil and I actually like this one a little bit more mainly for the price but also like I like the consistency of it better and the color of this one, this one's ebony uh, and I feel like this color matches a lot better than any of the Anastasia eyebrow pencils do because I feel like it, like the darkest one was way too dark for me but then the next one down was too light so I could never find a good color for me there. And then I set them with the Raffi, um, what is this? I forgot what this is called. I guess it's just like the brow gel. So I like to put a little bit of this on to kind of set it. And then it has a brush also included that I like to use to kind of brush them out a little bit, like comb them out. This would be a lot better if my eyebrows were actually like looked good but they're too bushy for me to like do anything nice with them right now so whatever <laughs> okay then I'm gonna blend my concealer and I'm setting everything with the Kosas uh, cloud set powder this has been my go-to powder for like the past year it's amazing I love it but before I set I want to um do all my other facial things. So what we're gonna contour with my favorite contour stick at the moment from Westman Altier. It's just their contour stick. And then the shade of this is Truffle. And it's such a nice natural shade. It's so easy to blend.
Okay, and then I'm gonna set with the Kosas powder. And bronzer, I just picked this one up. This is a new product. I love this bronzer. It's the Too Faced Sun Bunny bronzer. And I think that's what the shade is called too. Yeah, I think it actually is just one shade, Sun Bunny. But it's such a pigmented, beautiful color. And a little goes a long way with this product, which is why I really like it. It doesn't take forever to like build up a color. Mm-hmm, love it. And for blush, I'm gonna use another new product. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a little blush stick. This one is in the shade Latte. I think that's the shade. And this one comes with the blush on one side. It's like a roll-up little stick. And then on the other side is the brush. I really like this brush. This is what I use when I um, apply this blush. And I think it's really nice for travel too. So it's like a nice little compact way to Pack your, I was gonna say lunch, pack your lunch, pack your uh, blush. I put a little bit on my nose too. And then, yeah, I just blend it with the brush on the other side. It's a really pretty, very, very light, like natural color. Like this is the blush that I wear on days where I don't wanna like have like too much blush standing out. Like days when I want a more natural looking color rather than like a pop of color. This is more for like, very natural. Like I'm just going to the movies. I don't need a pop of bright blush on my face. And I always just go in and kind of like make the little contour line a little bit sharper with the blush, I mean the bronzer brush. Um, and then I guess sometimes I don't even use highlight anymore. It's like not a thing I really do, but when I do use highlight, I use the Say Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow. It's like a little liquid blush. And I really love all of Say's products, so good. But yeah, I just do like a tiny bit, like all over the high points of my face, a little bit on the tip of my nose for that contour. And then I just uh, blend it out with some sort of brush. I'll use this little brush, but yeah. Nothing too crazy. And then I'm gonna just do a little bit of eyeshadow. I totally forgot I was supposed to be testing out the new Dior products. So I won't be able to test out the blush, but I'll do the new eyeshadow palette that I got in the shade 659 Mirror. It has all of these really nice warm toned colors. Super pretty. So I'll take this one maybe in the middle and sweep that all around my lid. See how this consistency is, ooh. Oh, oh my gosh. That is very pig pigmented. I'm gonna just do like one shade. Usually I'll just do like one shade unless I'm going out and I want like a really glam look, then I'll kind of like pack on the shadow colors, but for just like a day, like casual look, I'll just do like one shade all over the lid. Usually some type of warm brown color. And then I'll take another eyeshadow brush with that same color and kind of put it on my lower lid, just right on the bottom. To kind of make my eyes look a little bit bigger and give it more depth a little bit. Mm -hmm. Wow, I really like that color and the consistency. Consistency. Um, okay, let's do... The other thing I can try out is the new lipstick and lip gloss that I got. So we'll do that. I haven't tried this lipstick yet. Let me see what liner would look good with it. Okay, it's pinky. So maybe like a brown pinky color. Let's try Honeymoon. Morphe lip liner and Honeymoon. It's a very, very light, light color. Mm. I usually like darker lip colors, lip liners. That's okay, we're going for a natural look. Oh, I like this color. This is in the shade 
100 nude look velvet. Oh yeah, definitely a very cute, pretty nude color. Hmm, I like that. I think I need a darker, I definitely need a darker lip liner though because Yeah, that's better. Much better. This is the Morphe lip liner in Sweet Tea. This is the lip liner I use pretty much every single time. With any lipstick I use, I always reach for this liner. And it always looks good with every shade I try. Oh, I love that. Okay, so there's that. And I think I'm gonna just do that with my lips. I was gonna put on the glow oil, but I don't wanna get like the lipstick on the brush so i think i'm gonna just use that lip gloss when i don't have any lipstick on but last thing i'll do is mascara and maybe a little bit of eyeliner so i'll do the stila waterproof liquid liner just add a little bit to the end not too much i don't want it to be like dramatic i'm gonna finish off with my current everyday mascara this is from milk makeup and this is the rise mascara this adds so much volume and makes my lashes look super long and full and thick i'm going to just do one eye first so you can see the difference i don't have lash extensions anymore i'm taking a break from them but i usually get lash extensions but um yeah i just wanted my regular lashes to breathe and i really only get lash extensions when it's like a special occasion like my birthday, vacation, a wedding, or during Vlogmas I got it because I was vlogging every day so I wanted to have like cute lashes, but I don't really get them that often. But I will be getting them again next month because we're going to Vegas. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but me and my friends booked tickets to Vegas because it's one of our best friends' 30th birthday. We're all pretty much turning 30 this year, my friend group. like. The majority of us are turning 30 this year so we all like are taking trips this year as you guys saw i went to antigua for my 30th birthday and then i did the cabin trip with like my girlfriends so kelsey you guys oh she's actually who i'm going to the movies with tonight but kelsey if you remember her from my past few vlog past few vlogs she is turning 30 in may so we're going to vegas for her 30th that was her her city of choice so okay here's the mascara, I don't know if you can see that much of a difference. I need to fix my eyeliner, I'll do that in a minute, but yeah, I love this mascara. Have you guys heard of that TikTok influencer? It's her name, Michaela. I don't really watch her. I don't really actually watch many beauty TikTokers. Like I don't really follow or keep up with them like religiously. Sometimes I'll see them on my For You page, but I heard about like the controversy because she, uh, was doing, uh, I think, um, a sponsorship with L'Oreal's mascara, and she was like promoting the mascara, make, making it seem like it's amazing, and making it seem like you'll get like super thick, full lashes. But uh, she was wearing false lashes in her video, pretending it was just the mascara. Um, so that was crazy. I don't know whatever happened with that, but. I heard about that and I watched the video of her with the false lashes and it was so obvious. Like, oh my gosh, I don't know why anyone would do that. That just reminded me of that right now. So anyway, I'm all done with the makeup. I'm gonna finish off with a spray from Patrick Ta. It's the She's Thirsty um, spray. It's like a major glow spray for dewy mist. You can Put this all over her face before makeup, after makeup, or just during the day for like a nice refresh. It's so lightweight. It doesn't like hurt your face when you spray it like a lot of other sprays do. But anyway, okay. We're all ready to go. And my makeup's done. I'm gonna just go like this. I'm gonna roll out soon. And the movie starts at seven. It's 6.13 now. So I'll probably head out soon. And did I mention the movie we're gonna see? I don't know if I did, but we're gonna see Shazam 2. I just saw the first one for the first time on Monday. I really liked it. I like superhero movies. Although I am team Marvel, I still like to watch the Justice League movies. 
Um, and I also really want to see Scream. The new Scream movie is out. I have to watch the last two because I never seen the Scream movies before until like a few months ago. I watched the first three. I love them. So I need to like watch the rest of the series before I go see the new movie. But that's another movie on my list to watch. So, all right guys, we're gonna go to the movies. I don't know how much I'll vlog because I uh, you know, can't really vlog in the movies, but I will catch you guys later. We're the only ones, are we? Mm -hmm. We're the only ones in the theater. Hi guys, I'm back from the movies. It was really fun. The movie was really good. I really enjoyed it, it was so funny. It's only like 9.30, but I'm ready for bed. So I am gonna take my makeup off. And since I did a get ready with me in this vlog, I thought it would be fun to do a get unready with me. I'm wearing this random headband I found in the guest bathroom because that's where I am right now. I decided to get unready here tonight for a change of pace. And let me angle that better. Okay, so yeah, I'll show you guys how I get unready for the night. So I started using these new products from L'Occitane. This is the cleansing balm. The cleansing balm i believe this is a new product and this is the cleansing cream by them i use the cleansing balm first to really get in there and get all the makeup out that's like the strongest thing to like remove your makeup and then i use the cleansing cream after that so it's like a little two-step process and then for my eye makeup because my eye makeup like the mascara and the eyeliner are both waterproof i also have the garnier micellar water and it's for waterproof makeup so i always going with this with like some cotton pads to remove just the eye area makeup. I absolutely love the feeling and the texture of a cleansing balm. I just put it on a dry face and then I'll wet my fingers with some warm water and with my wet fingertips I'll go in and like massage my face and you can see all the makeup is like coming off. It's like lathering off. And then I usually use like a um, face face cloth or I'll just use my hands and splash water to rinse my face off. I look crazy right now. So I just rinsed my cleansing balm off so while my face is still wet, I'm going to take the L'Occitane cleansing cream and then lather that into my skin next for a deeper cleanse. Alright, I still look crazy because I haven't taken my eye makeup off. So lastly... I'm going to take a cotton pad and take my Garnier micellar water and clean my eyes up and then also kind of like get the edges of my face where I didn't like completely remove it because the edges are always where there is still makeup left over. Mm -hmm. There are still a lot of makeup left over so I just did that a couple times to make sure all the makeup is out. So. My face is clean, now I'll do my skincare routine, which I do in so many vlogs. But I'm gonna first do some retinol eye cream. This is the one from Dr. Dennis Grossman. And then I'm gonna take my Dr. Dennis Gross. Did I say Dr. Grossman? It's Dr. Dennis Gross. Um, so this is the same thing as the eye cream, but this is a retinol serum. I've been loving this product ever since I got it a few weeks ago, the Estee Lauder Night Repair Serum. My overnight mask, you guys have seen this plenty of times before, the Ren Overnight Balm. I'm going to take my gua sha and quickly go over my face with it. And then lastly, I'm going to finish off with my lips and I'm using the Aquaphor Lip Repair Immediate Relief. I love Aquaphor, I love these little lip balms. All right, you guys, and that's my un, get ready, get unready with me. I can never say that. Yeah, that is my get unready with me routine. So I'm gonna list all these products in my description. I'm gonna get ready for bed. Well, I guess I am ready. I think I'm gonna just go like lay down on the couch for an hour or so and then crawl my way to bed. That's usually my routine every night is I'm like on the couch watching TV 
and then I just like slug my way to the bed. When I was in my early 20s, I was not even getting ready at 9.30 to go out. I was having dinner at 9.30 and then I would get ready at like 10, go out at 11. Boy, how times have changed.